My name is Frank Bogie. I'm a vice president of the company. I'm also in charge of uh, product development. I'm going to present to you uh, a new model, which is the uh, Leopard 45. That's one of the uh, main aspects of, uh, of Leopard Catamaran. We have stepped hulls. In other words, we keep the beam of the hulls very narrow. That's the case on this boat. In fact, this 45 here is not wider. The hulls are not wider than the previous model, the 44, which was actually uh, a little bit under 43 feet. So even though it's much bigger inside, uh, we still have very narrow hulls and we have the volume, interior volume is above the waterline with what we call a step or a shine. So that's uh, on all the leopards and we're going to uh, see that on this boat as well. And we're going to have here a very nice area that's going to be private, that's going to be away from the dock in the marina. It's away from the noise, from the traffic on the dock. At the anchor, it's, it's in the front of the boat, it's in the breeze, it's a very nice area. In a marina situation, it's very private, it's away from the dock, there's usually a lot of traffic on the dock, a lot of noise, so you can uh, have a private uh, setting here. It's also a very nice uh, area to have breakfast in the morning. And another big advantage of the forward cockpit is the fact that it will give ventilation into the boat since you can access the forward cockpit from the main salon through a door. The top of the, of the roof here is, is now one piece, which is, uh, makes not only the boat look better, but it's also easier uh, to maintain. This is a typical feature of Leopards. We have very good protection against the sun everywhere, not only in the forward cockpit, but the aft cockpit and the helm station with hard tops. Part of the, uh, the, the fact that we want to uh, build a boat that offers nice volume, we want to maintain the uh, the performance of this boat. So besides the, uh, the stepped hull and the thinner hulls, we also have a powerful rig on this boat, a very long boom, a, a large main, and overlapping genoa. So it's a more traditional uh, type of rigging, and we maintain with the overlapping genoa uh, the traditional tunnel effect, the airflow between the genoa and the mainsail, and two big sails that will push the boat uh, and may, uh, keep the, the performance uh, as high as possible. So going from the foredeck, uh, aft, we have good handrails everywhere here, very secure, very wide side decks. It's very easy to circulate here all throughout the boat, very secure. We have the shrouds are doubled. We have two shrouds here. Those are the steps to go on the roof as needed. And there's another handrail here. Grab the lifeline. It's a very secure uh, situation here. Uh, here we're going to have the engine rooms, very uh, good access to the engine room, a lot of space to work on the engine. And uh, on all the boats that we have, we have a very good uh, access to the water. And then the circulation is, is really good, uh, back and forth here, with very good access to the point where you can sit here, look at uh, the water, and then the, everybody can interact here. Uh, here we have uh, the David system, which is electric. Uh, there is an electric motor here, and the entire davits goes down. We are in the aft cockpit of the boat here. You can see, uh, even though there's good headroom, we still cover the entire cockpit and more. If we overlap on the side, so the protection is beyond the seating areas. Something is going aft, where it goes over the aft section of the boat, so the protection is really good. And like I said earlier, there's also curtains that come out this way. So here we can uh, sit uh, eight people comfortably. Uh, the table is a large table uh, that will entertain uh, a large group, and this is where people spend most of their time on the catamaran for sure. Uh, so there is a, 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 the propane locker on one side, and there is a locker here for additional storage. So we started on this model to think about storage like uh, you know fins and masks, snorkel, more, more of the uh, all the stuff that tends to lay on the deck, you know, shoes, etc. There's another uh, nice uh, storage area here uh, that can be also uh, a location for a, a cockpit fridge, a 12 volt cockpit fridge. When you look at the interior of the boat, we're going to favor on our boats the common areas. So this is where you spend most of your time. So we're going to have the aft cockpit. In, its, in fact, in the Leopard 45, it does communicate with the interior space in an open position. We can close it as well. So ham station, obviously, this is the command center of this boat, very important location. So the idea is to be able to do it single-handed uh, or in a short crew uh, situation. So here you have, everything comes back to the ham station. You have the primary winches, the hyards are here, the sheets are on the outside, and we have the bridle system 
for the uh, main sheet here, there's two bridles going to one winch. That winch is manual, but there is also a way to bring it to the uh, electrical winch here. Uh, if all the, the lines drop in the bag, it's automatic. They drop here, and we have the foot switches for the two electrical winches. So the idea is to be able to go behind the helm, hold the helm here, have the foot on the foot switch for the hired, and be able to see the main. So this is a strategic opening here to be able to see the rig from the helm station and to be able to, uh, to hold the, 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 the hired here and having the foot on the foot switch here. So very compact, very easy to use. All the instruments are right in front of you. The um, engine controls are right here as well with the autopilot. So the idea is to have a well-protected helm station with a hard top. There's also an option to, come to close this and we're still part of the group. I can sit here, I can talk to my friends, I can see my kids. If they're playing down here, it's all in one piece. So here you can see the, uh, the, the aft cockpit you know, communicates with the, the main salon in one big area. So in the open position, this is a one big nice area. That, uh, that merges together what we call indoor-outdoor in, in one piece. But in case it's too hot or there's bad weather or it's raining or it's too cold, uh, this we can close. Equally, we can close the door here. So we are now in the main salon of this boat. So for uh, people that know the Leopard 40, the Leopard 40 was the first catamaran where we basically, in our range, flipped around the, the galley with uh, the, uh, the settee, the main salon settee. So most catamarans have the galley facing aft and the settee here in the corner facing aft as well. So the idea on this boat was to flip everything around uh, since the view through those big uh, square windows or rectangular windows is absolutely fantastic as you can see. The visibility is incredible any point Around this boat here, you have 180 degree uh, visibility and the galley is now facing forward. So you have a very nice galley with a very beautiful view here and it's a very comfortable galley. The galleys that we have are always designed so you can have more than one people cooking at the same time. So I can easily be here with somebody else doing something here, being uh, working on the, at the sink here and have uh, plenty of uh, counter space. We have a lot of storage and in here we have the, the trash, additional storage. Also, on all our boats, we have under the floorboards here, we're going to have storage. There's three compartments here. You can store water, uh, you can store dry food, and under the settee is the same way. This is all storage. So we have here, just like uh, the other boats, uh, we have a nice uh, knife table facing forward with a very flat square, excellent visibility from here, looking forward. This is, all, this is a knife table, a modern knife table, where obviously you can keep here uh, electronics, computers, laptop, etc. We have USB, uh, USB plugs here and the 220 volt. There's a small ottoman that we looked at earlier. Again, you have an access panel underneath here, so any, any uh, electrical maintenance uh, will be uh, accessed from here. We're working with an interior uh, designer in Cape Town that designs the multi-million dollar houses. What I like about uh, South Africa is it's a good uh, combination of uh, American and European kind of uh, design and style. So we spend time on indirect lighting. You can see there's indirect lighting throughout the boat. You'll see that in the cabins. We spend a little bit more time on you know, uh, fixtures, uh, hardware, uh, stainless steel. You see there's, uh, there's stainless steel brackets on the opening of the boat. We spend more time on the door. This is more design-like. And uh, in the cabins, there's also more uh, attention to details and, and interior design. So in this configuration, we have the owner's cabin across the entire hall, starboard. But on the port side, we're going to have two double cabins with a suite head and shower. In the uh, four cabin configuration, the port side and the starboard side uh, are basically the same. So we are in the uh, Ford uh, port cabin here. So you can see there's a very nice uh, island berth. Uh, bed. It's very large, so it's a little higher because obviously we want to keep the hulls narrow at this point. We don't want to have a fat entry into the water, so it's very narrow, so it's a little higher, but there's access on both sides with very two very nice uh, drawers underneath the cabin. What we do in the front here, there's a crash box in the front, which is something we have on all the boats, and there is additional storage. Uh, in this particular boat, we have 
what we call the childbirth option. So you can open the door and have there's a small mattress here and shelf and light. So that's great for kids. It can be just storage area without the door or it can be a skipper cabin as well. So looking at the aft cabin, uh, we're still on the port side. The aft cabin in that case, the bed is the same as the starboard side. We have, again, we have a very low bed here, very good access to the bed from the side. We're gonna have a drawer. Again, we're gonna have storage here for the luggage. Uh, as you sit in your bed here, you, you have ventilation eventually. Cross ventilation is very good. This opening port here, there's an opening uh, right here plus the hatch. So we are in the uh, starboard owner's cabin. So this bird is a, a four cabin, four head bird, or in the owner's configuration, the entire starboard hall is one suite for the owner. So it's very large. There's a very large uh, bed here. There's access to the bed on the side. Uh, there's very nice shelves, a lot of storage. Uh, in this owner's version, we have drawers here, very large deep drawers. So here we have the two vanities. One has a mirror for, uh, for the lady. Uh, and then uh, here there's more storage. We have now also throughout the boat, uh, USBs, they're in the cabins, they're here, they're at the nav table. We have a nice shelf here for uh, books, um, et cetera, iPads, et cetera. We have here additional uh, storage, uh, again, with th uh, three large drawers. And going forward, we have here more storage. Uh, this is a sliding door that will close here and the shower is a separate shower with a door in the bow forward and there is a uh, full size here uh, a nice little sink uh, with uh, again we made uh, a little bit more effort on indirect lighting, nicer uh, plumbing, uh, nicer features throughout this boat, nicer nice stainless steel, you know square square lights uh, throughout the door. So it's a very large uh, very large compartment and we can close it. If you want more privacy, you can just close the entire compartment here. It's, uh, it's quite simple, but it works really well. Uh, you know, so you create more, more privacy. All the uh, systems of the boat have basically access. So here we have access to the back of the refrigeration that you've seen in the main salon. Here we have access to all the electrical. You can see it's really nicely done. So. Uh, all throughout the boat, we're going to see uh, access to all the hardware, all the electrical systems. So the Leopard 45 received the uh, Boat of the Year award at the Miami Boat Show this year in 2017. So this is Boat of the Year in the USA. I invite you to uh, come and uh, to any of the largest boat show in the world, in Europe, in the US, in Australia, in Asia, and uh, come see us. Go to our website, www.leopardcarbon.com to uh, see where you can see this boat, meet with us. And uh, we're in the process of uh, uh, producing this boat now. We've delivered 19 units already. We're gonna be building 44 boats a year, which is around the boat every week. And because it's a production boat, we have very good pricing on this. So I invite you to uh, contact us and get some information about uh, the Leopard 45.